Here's some top green politics news of the day for you. Enjoy, if it's possible. Bill Becker of Third Generation Environment Environmentalism has written a great post on climate progress on how Congress's failure to act on energy and the climate is a huge U.S. national security threat. This is nothing new. The U.S. military has reported on this before, but it's worth repeating since we don't seem to be getting the point. The Obama administration, unfortunately, is encouraging TransCanada to go forward with the first leg of what could be the Tar Sands Keystone XL pipeline. This is a disastrous idea. I'm not sure what the f they're doing, but basically they've split the huge project into two. The southern portion is less controversial and that doesn't need State Department approval since it doesn't cross a, a border uh, is, is apparently fine with Obama, the Obama administration. They've said they're willing to help fast track the permitting process. Again, what the f... And really, uh, I don't know how this is going to help Obama in any way. This, is, uh, this pipeline was hugely uh, opposed by citizens of the United States and especially his base. It's a horrible project and this decision is sort of baffling. A conservative e economist, Arthur Laffer, and a Republican... Uh, Congressman Bob Inglis have written an editorial in the New York Times uh, encouraging us to go forward with a carbon tax in the United States. Basically, the argument isn't for the environmental reasons as much as uh, for the economic reasons. The uh, Arthur Laffer notes that why are we taxing things we want, jobs and income, and not taxing things we don't want, like carbon dioxide, uh, which the U.S. population has, has, has shown in many ways, many surveys, that they don't want. It's just common sense. We could replace uh, high income and jobs taxes with a carbon tax, and it would help the world in many ways. Common sense. Meanwhile, about 100 indus industry groups have attacked EPA regulations set to uh, help stop global warming. This is a non-stop battle against these regulations from industry. It's insane. It sacrifices the futures of not, a, not only ourselves, but our children and generations to come. It's, uh, it's horrible to see them continuing the assault on these needed regulations. The, the current form of the assault is a lawsuit by these um, industry groups. Sad news.